around trying to please this person mm -hmm. and trying to please that person yeah. and trying to please this one over here, I might as well quit right now. Close the door and go to the house. Yeah. Heaven Lord. Yeah. Ain't gonna stand before No, you can't please everybody. There's no, no. way. No. They the one that you can please, and that's the Lord. They're that's the, the only one you can please. Yes. And if you ain't lining up with the good word, then you got something to do. If you ain't doing what the Lord told you to do, you got something to do. Amen. Come on, brother. If you ain't doing your best, you got something to do. You got changes to make. Yes, you don't have to do what the Lord tells you, or you ain't gonna ever get nowhere. Well, brother, man. You'll stay in the position that you're in right now if you don't never do something about it. If y'all wanna follow along with me, turn to Luke chapter 19. And I'm going to make a point with this here today. Yeah, I want y'all to pay attention. I mean, it can go to the people that's got the Holy Ghost. And it can go to the people that ain't got the Holy Ghost also. Yeah, and it's talking about Zacchaeus. Yeah. That's what this here is talking about. Follow along real close. And I hope, pray, you'll get the point. Yeah, it says right here, and Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, which was the chief among the publicans, and he was rich. He was the rich. He was rich. Naturally. But he didn't have nothing else. He was just a rich man, but he didn't have the spirit, in other words. And he sought to see Jesus who he was and could not for the press because he was little of stature. He was a little man. He wasn't no big man. He was probably, he was probably short, real skinny. He wasn't no big person. Somebody that ain't Real tall. You take a man that's way up here, he can see out yonder further than what a man can. If he's way down here, he can't he can't see but so far, and that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Long, bro, man. Yeah. Yeah. But he had to do something yeah. to get what he wanted. And you will have to do the same thing. <laughs> you want something from the Lord? You got something you got to do too. I ain't saying this to be hard on nobody. But since we've been at meeting, there ain't been but one person that come up here to the altar and pray. And we done been in meeting for 40 minutes. What is your heart set on? What's your heart's desire? Do you want things your way? Or you want the Lord's way? If you want things your way, it ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work that way. You're gonna have to come the Lord's way or no way at all. Plain and simple English. Like I told my wife, I think it was this morning, when I really and truly wanted the Holy Ghost, I've done something about it. Did you ever get it, Brother Man? Yeah, I sure did. <laughs> the devil can tell me all kinds of things, but that's one thing he can't deceive me in. He can say, no, you didn't pray through, or you didn't get what you wanted. <coughs> he can't tell me that, because I'm no different. I'm no different. <coughs> He can say all kinds of things that he wants to say, but he can't convince me that I don't have it. He can tell me other things, and I might believe him in a certain extent, but that's one thing he can't get me on right there. And you'll have to know that for your own self to 
結局終わりっていいんで。
and saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must abide at thy house. Wouldn't that be nice to hear? Just because you've done a little something, the Lord's going to come and be at your house. Amen. Wouldn't that be nice? Like uh, I heard a, a man told me one time, I was at his house. And he told me and he told another brother. He said, y'all can look around in my house all you want to. He said, but you ain't going to find nothing that shouldn't be here. He said, if you want to look, he said, go ahead. He said, feel free. He said, if you find something, let me know. He said, but I'll go ahead and tell you, you ain't going to find nothing here that, ain't, that shouldn't be here. He said, look all you want to. And I believed him. <laughs> I didn't have to go look because I already believed him when he told me that. I knew how the man lived. I knew how he was. I didn't have to go search his house just to see if I could find something in there that wasn't supposed to be in there. How many of us can say that today? If I went to your house and said, okay, you go outside, I'm going to search your whole house just to see if I can find one little thing that shouldn't be here. Mm-hmm. Would you stay outside or would you have, oh, hold on just a minute, let me lock the door, I got to put this up, I got to put that up before you do any searching. You know that's the way it's going to be with the Lord when he comes back. Going to be all cleaned up. All cleaned up. You better make things right now. Because on the day of judgment, you ain't going to have time to make things right then. He ain't going to hold and say, I'll wait on you. Come back later. He ain't going to say none of that. Better be ready now. And he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. Could you receive him joyfully today if the Lord wanted to come to your house? You know what you ought to be able to do? Go to your house and open up the door and say, come on in, Lord, you're welcome. Ain't going to find nothing in here. Come on in. Yeah. Stay a while. That's the way it ought to be all the time, not just once in a while. Mm-hmm. That's the way it ought to be all the time. So see, you think you ain't got nothing to do? You got something to do, people, before you can get what you want. I got something to do, too. Even though I got the Holy Ghost, I still got things I have to do. If I want to hear him say, well done, I still got things I got to do to be able to hear him say, well done. All I'm telling you is you're going to have to do your best. You already know that. I ain't telling you something you don't already know. You already know it. But sometimes it's good to be reminded and sometimes it's good to hear things and it kind of lifts you up a little bit. It does me. When I read or somebody says something, it, it helps me along the way. That's what I'm trying to do is help y'all along the way. I'll do your best. Do what the Lord wants you to do. You may not feel like praying today. You ain't got to come down here to pray. You can pray right there at your seat. And the Lord still hears you. I say, well, I didn't go to the altar. You got a seat right there you can pray at too. You ain't got to always come down here to this altar. The Lord hears you wherever you at. All you got to be is sincere and honest in your heart when you pray to him. That's all that matters. Y'all come on. Do your best today.